Hello, just bring you back, quick catch up and uh, bicycle stuff. Okay, the old rally, um, it's got sort of beyond economical repair, um, depending on if I can find any bits and pieces for it in the future. Um, after I'd fixed it all up, changed the tyres and, and done all whatever I was doing to it, um, the rear cassette or gear set I'm not there's two types I'm, I'm not really sure what's what anyway it it's not it's knackered in there the bearings and it's not ratcheting properly I've had it all apart and uh, managed to get it going again for a bit but it, it's it's had it um, chain is completely worn out the front um, now, what do they, they don't call them sprockets, they call them uh, gear rings or something. Apparently, you don't call them front sprockets or cogs. Anyway, they're all worn out. The crank, not the crank, uh, what they call it, the lower bracket, which is <laughs> what I would have called the crank that goes through the pedal arms, which they call the crank arms. <laughs> anyway, that all the bearings have gone in that. It, it's, it's not happy. Um, so basically it needs all of that, that, and the derailleurs all worn out as well. Uh, so I was humming and ahhing whether to replace all those parts. Anyway, I was looking on uh, Marketplace and of all of the second hand bikes I could find, um, I saw this one. Um, which is a, a road bike, skinny tires, aluminium frame, carbon fiber forks. Um, now this was 110 pound and the guy delivered it to me. He, to be honest, he only lived about three streets away. I didn't know, but he, he came around and delivered it for me. Um, and the last two or three days, I've just been adjusting it and um, adapting it to my needs. Okay, back to this one. So this is a 1995 mountain bike. Uh, it was three by seven, three on the front, seven on the back, or six or eight or whatever it is on the back. And it's uh, it's steel-ish. It's not full steel. I think they call it chrome, chrome molly. In fact, chromo, it's chrome molly. Uh, so it's still quite a heavy beast. Um, it did have two inch type wheels, but I've changed the wheels for, I think inch and a half or inch and three quarters, whatever. And I put road tires on it because <laughs> they were 10 quid each cheap. Anyway, so it's a big, heavy lump, but it, it's well built. You know, it's, it's 1995 and it's, it, if I fix the bits up, it will, it will carry on going. Um, Anyway, this one is light as a feather. It, I think it's, I think it's ten and a half kilos. The whole everything. Um, now I've taken some bits off and put some bits on. Um, it came with that razor blade, which it's a good seat, but not for me. So I put this one on which was like 10 quid from Amazon uh, basically it was to replace this one that I really love because it's got proper old bicycle spring bicycle tractor seat springs on it but it's in a bad condition so this is similar it's nice and squidgy it has got little suspension things on it but they're not springs they're sort of plasticky rubber things anyway it's comfortable so that came off um, now sorry if I'm making you dizzy <laughs> like dizzy like me now it did have three cogs on the front three gear rings on the front and eight on the back uh, now me being from the 60s Anything more than a three-speed Sturmey Archer on the on the back is a bonus to me. I grew up with um, 
thinking it was luxury having a five speed derailleur, one on the front, five on the back. So anyway, um, like the mountain bike where it was all, the front changer was all messed up. This was all there, all the parts were there. I spent a day trying to get it to work so that it would change up and down the three cogs properly. And the best I could do was to get it to work on this middle one, which is where I would normally keep it all the time. And then the smaller one for going up mountains, but it wouldn't stay on the bigger one. Um, it appeared some of the components and the springs were a bit worn and I'd, I'd spent a whole day adjusting it um, and with the intention just of leaving it on the middle one. But then I decided, well, let's let's just make things simple. So I took off all of that front derailleur and this, um, this triple set, luckily I could I took it apart and it had the um, you'd basically nuts and bolts these fixings were fixed to the middle cog the smaller cog sorry gear ring was attached separately on its own bolts and then the biggest cog was sat on the front attached to the same little sleeves so the biggest cog just came straight off. Uh, the inside cog, I actually cut it in half with the grinder because I couldn't get the crank off because nowadays you have to have, in there there's a double thread thing and you need a crank pull at all. Whereas in the olden days it used to be a, a big cotter pin, yeah, as you well know if you're 55 or older. Anyway, managed to get it all back together, took off all of this gubbins and then obviously up on the handlebar was a set like this all integrated with the brake and the shift up and down click, whatever they call it, dialing thing on there. So I took all of that off, removed all the cables and for eight quid on Amazon I've got a pair of just brake levers. So I've got a spare right hand one. And that free bell came with the seat or saddle. Um, oh, and then I swapped the pedals for the ones off of my mountain bike. Um, a, because these are a bit bigger and I've got pretty wide feet. And also the bearings in these are much better than the ones I took off. These are the ones I took off, uh, a bit graunchy, They're small and lightweight, but to be honest, they look very, very cheap. I'm guessing like most bikes, this has had, or, or he, he swapped a few bits before he brought it round to me. Um, it had, yeah, he brought a bag of bits with it, like this drinks holder thing and this, uh, and pump oh yeah that's the other thing so I've just chucked them on this one that was the other thing it's it's because it's got really skinny tires which are 700 by 23 I think which I think is about I think it's 28 inch by under an under an inch seven eighths anyway 700 by 23 it says Anyway, the point was, it had Presta valves. Um, now, that hand pump that I've put on the thing has got a swappable end so you can pump it by hand. But you want to try putting 100 PSI in a tyre with a hand pump. I managed to get 30 PSI in it. I had to look it up. I didn't realise these run at minimum 85. And then you add two psi per five kilos it worked out at my 93 kilos i needed 103 in the back and 100 in the front so i'm learning so much stuff about these modern bikes i'm like i said 60s and 70s bikes i understand but all of this 
stuff is mostly new to me. Uh, went online, went on YouTube, and for three quid on Amazon, good old Amazon, they do adapters to Schrader. I won't take the cap off, but basically you unscrew the bit of the Presta there and leave it unscrewed so the air can pass. Screw this on, it's got an O-ring. Take the cap off, which you can't with one hand. Fill it up with your normal thing and then just leave it. Or, like a guy on YouTube suggested, fill it up, take that back off, screw the little sealer on for the Presta valve which you don't need to because the Presta valve seals itself internally but it's just security and leave them on so that was brilliant because with a foot pump or my compressor I can just pump it up at home and if I need to pump it up while I'm out um, petrol station but I guess if I need to pump it up while I'm out I've had a puncher and I would need a puncher repair kit at the same time so I'll have to look into that. So there you go, bit of a waffle. Um, yeah, so I've made it a 1x8, not a 3x8, which is modern terms for 8 gears, not 24 gears, which involved changing the that whole lever um, control setup. I've changed the seat. Put a new inner tube in the front because it was a, the valve was a little bit iffy. Um, yeah, so in total I've spent 25 quid on it. it cost 110, so 135 pound, uh, which was all paid for by my work colleagues. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I know you'll be watching Sam, so um, I'll give you a bell. But we can thank everyone at work for this. And it gets me back out in cycling mode. I haven't done any cycling since, um, I think around November, when this started to, to, the gears kept slipping and then the weather came in, I stopped and uh, my little five miles a day I was getting to finished. Um, I'm, a, I'm on less than a mile a day at the moment. I've literally just taken it out for the first time since I've fixed it up. Anyway, that's a lot of waffle. Right, well that sounds like a huge amount of me just blubbering on about rubbish, so appreciate that. Um, I'm still the same, nothing going on here. Um, I'll catch up with you next time. Peace and love, I've been Springy, take care.